smoke and the haze from Canadian wildfires, they are expected to visit our area again. Okay, but we're just going to tell you, don't listen to anybody else on any other station. It's not going to be as bad as it was a few <laughs> weeks ago. We will get through this. It will not look like this when the sky turned orange. Um, but the governor is warning everybody to mask up if you have breathing issues. Dan Bowens in Central Park this morning. How are things over there? It looks nice and clear. Yeah, good morning, Rosanna and Bianca. It is a beautiful morning to come out, take a jog, take a walk, ride your bike. But city health officials want you to be mindful as the day progresses. We could see some things changing right now. They expect that the air quality index will remain in the moderate level, but they warn you never know. Shifting weather, weather patterns could change everything. We know this has already been a big problem out in the Midwest in the last few days. Let's take a look at that. Chicago and several other parts of the upper Midwest have been engulfed in a smoky haze from wildfires burning all across Canada. We've seen so many of those problems over the last month or so. On Tuesday, Day. The smoke caused a dramatic drop in air quality, forcing many to wear masks when going outside. Chicago's air quality index peaked at 209 by midday. That's according to a Swiss air quality technology company. This was the worst reading of any major city anywhere in the world. Cities like Green Bay, Wisconsin and Grand Rapids, Michigan also experienced poor air quality with readings of 175 and 225 respectively. So big problems. Of course, Chicago Chicago isn't the only city facing these conditions. New York is also bracing for poor air quality. Definitely not as bad as what we saw a few weeks ago, but still a concern. Mayor Adams has warned that air quality in the city could worsen on Wednesday and definitely on Thursday as well. So over the next 48 hours, Governor Hochul says her staff has set up cell phone alerts and systems to warn people in affected areas. And she says New Yorkers should take precautions if you notice things and you have breathing problems and you're going to go outside. Masks once again, because the safest thing is if you have to be outdoors when the air quality is what that is, it's going to be wearing an N95 mask. Now, city and state health officials right now say the most important thing to do is to just stay informed and just be aware this is a possibility. You can monitor air quality at airnow.gov. Something to keep in mind as you look at it, the air quality index between 51 and 100 is considered moderate. But if it goes above 100, that's when we start to get a bit concerned and heightened concerns for all those kids out there who may be playing sports, other adults and people with heart problems. And just to put this all in perspective, right now there are about 500 wildfires that are burning in Canada, 500, and about half of those are still out of control. So this is an issue that could linger throughout the summer, of course, today. Definitely not expected to be as bad as it was a few weeks ago. But just when we thought we were out of this thing, we're not. We're getting pulled right back into it. And over the next few weeks, we're going to have to keep our eye on it. Roseanne Bianca, back inside to you. All right, Dan, thanks so much for the update.